What's going on everybody? It's pretty chilly outside. I got the space heater on, but anyways, I got a comment here. It says, hey, wondering if you could help me out. I recently went to start my TW200 and all of a sudden my bike blacked out. No power at all. Could you make a video on how you change the fuses? I can't seem to get the plastic off without breaking it. So yeah, I'd be more than happy to help you out with that, but first things first is that fuses never just blow for no reason. Uh, it's an indicator that something's wrong with your electrical system. Typically, it's a short to ground. So replacing the fuse is not gonna really help because more than likely it's gonna blow again and sometimes it might take a while or it might be like intermittent. Uh, a good example of that is a Friday's the Bomb video. I don't know if you guys watch his videos or not, they're really good, but he had this problem with his XR650 where he was just popping fuses like randomly and he would just bring a bunch extra with them. And eventually it got to the point where they would just blow like instantly. And he was like a few miles away from his house or something, he had to push his bike back. But it turned out there was a positive wire like behind his headlight from an aftermarket uh, power outlet and it was just shorting out randomly but I'll leave a link to that video if you want to go check it out it might be pretty helpful oh and also typically on most motorcycles uh, the frame is grounded so most metal things uh, will be a good ground so if there's any positive wire that's like lost its shielding and it just touches the ground that could pop your fuse and another thing is rodent chew i don't know why but rodents love wires um i heard someone say that the shielding on, around the wires is made of like made partially of peanut oil and that would make sense because rodents love to chew wires for some reason especially if it's getting cold out and you go ride your bike and your engine's all warm and you like park it in the shed or something uh a rodent might try to like you know get warmth out of it and be like oh here's some yummy wires i'll just chew these up but they can really wreak havoc on your electrical system also if you put like any aftermarket accessory that draws way too much current like a giant light bar or something that could technically pop your fuse as well so just be aware of that and also a lot of the wires underneath um, the headlight on the tw200 have these little little rubber coverings and if one of those like slipped off or something that could that could cause it as well it's just one of those things that you're gonna really have to search for you might even have to take part of the bike apart just to look at all the wiring. But yeah, short to ground is one of the most likely things of why your fuse would be blowing. All right, to get to the fuse box, it's pretty simple. You just pull off this side cover and just unclips from the bottom, the little rubber grommets. And I usually just kind of swing it down like that and it pops right off. And I have my tire patch kit right here, so. I'll just remove that. Usually the stock tool kit is right here. So here are two 20 amp fuses. It's kind of hard to see because it's a little dirty and they're covered with those plastic covers that he was talking about. But I'll start by just removing this plug just to get a little more room in here. So these little covers are held on by these uh, plastic tabs and there's probably ones on the other side as well. But I'll just take my multi-tool, grab the little screwdriver part and I'll just insert it just slightly under that you don't want to pry on it there we go I just popped it off um, so I did break this one just a little bit right there I mean, it'll still work fine all right I'm gonna try to try to pull this off really quick it's just held on with these little rubber pieces I got it off, but I mean, you still really wouldn't be able to stick anything underneath that very easily. Good job, Yamaha. Yeah, I just kind of stuck my screwdriver back there, but appears I did break this one as well, unfortunately. But I mean, they're still completely usable. And it's not like these are waterproof anyways, so water would still be able to get in there. All right, I'm just gonna stick this back on. The top one's kind of a pain because this wiring harness is in the way. But anyways, I was looking at the wiring diagram earlier uh, and I could only see one fuse on it. So I'm not sure which one does what, but to find that out, let's go ahead and remove the top one and let's see what, see what it does. I'm gonna turn it on, nothing. So I'll put that fuse back in and remove the bottom fuse and this time 
nothing happens either. So that's uh, interesting. I was wondering if maybe one was for the, just the starter and then the other one was for everything else, but I, I have no idea. But yeah, that's how you replace the fuses. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of a pain. I wish Yamaha would have done a, a better job at making the fuses a little bit more accessible. But yeah, they're kind of broken, but they stay on there just fine. But yeah, I'll just plug this back in put my tire patch kit back on here and reinstall the cover well at least i tried but the main thing is is that they stay clipped on there but i hope you guys found this somewhat useful at least now you know where the fuses are in case you ever have one blow but if you did have a fuse blow it's important to find the root cause of why it happened and the best place to start is just visually inspecting all your wiring um, once you find it it's usually pretty easy to fix but anyways thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace